I think there's two things that make this synod unique. Uh, one is the process by which the Pope invited young people uh, to give input to the Senate. For example, in, in March of this year, he called a group of young people to come and have kind of a mini synod, a pre-synod meeting, uh, to talk with him about what their concerns are, what their needs were. The second really unique thing about this synod is the process. The Pope has insisted that the first thing the synod fathers have to do is look at the reality of the condition of young people today. Listen to them. Find out what their concerns are. Don't just come with pre-programmed answers and say, this is what we think young people need. But to first listen to the young people themselves and to respond to those. The young people have been inside the Synodal Hall. They've been allowed to speak. They participated in the small group discussions and have been very vocal. And, and the, the really uh, fun thing is that they have also responded to the other speakers. And this has never been done at a synod before. So this was quite unique. And the, the, the young people expressing their views very vocally. And uh, during one of the coffee breaks, the, the Pope went up to where the young people were all sitting. And he said, keep making noises. Uh, he loved it. And, uh, and so uh, he encouraged them uh, to make noise. Uh, so that their uh, voices and opinions were heard.